Ancient and classical foundations, long before physics had equations, it had philosophers. In ancient Greece, thinkers like Aristotle believed the universe was made of four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Motion to them was natural. Rocks fell because it was in their nature to seek the ground, while fire rose to join the heavens. It wasn't all wrong, but it wasn't exactly right either. Archimedes, on the other hand, brought a more mathematical approach, discovering principles of levers, buoyancy, and basic mechanics that still hold true today. For centuries, these ideas shaped humanity's understanding of the world. The heavens were thought to be perfect and unchanging, with planets moving in crystal spheres. But cracks began to form in this worldview, as careful observations didn't always match the theory. Ancient astronomy and mechanics were stepping stones, primitive by modern standards, yet crucial for setting humanity on the path toward a scientific method. They represent the first attempts to describe the world systematically, laying the groundwork for a revolution that would come in the 17th century with one man and an apple. Newtonian mechanics. In the late 1600s, Isaac Newton changed everything. Building on the work of Galileo and Kepler, Newton formulated three simple yet profound laws of motion. These laws described how objects move when forces act on them, and more importantly, how they move when no forces act at all. But his real game changer was the law of universal gravitation. The same force that makes an apple fall to Earth also keeps the moon in orbit and the planets circling the sun. Newton's equations could predict everything from the arc of a cannonball to the dance of planets over centuries. For the first time, the universe seemed like a giant clockwork, predictable, precise, and governed by universal laws. His framework dominated science for over 200 years, and to this day, we still use Newtonian mechanics to send spacecraft to other planets or build bridges that don't collapse. Of course, Newton's laws weren't perfect. They assumed space and time were absolute, and they couldn't handle the very fast or the very small. But as a foundation for understanding the everyday world, they remain unmatched in elegance and power. Thermodynamics. The Industrial Revolution brought steam engines, and steam engines brought the need to understand heat. Enter thermodynamics, the science of energy, heat, and work. The first law told us that energy can't be created or destroyed, it only changes form. The second law introduced entropy, the measure of disorder, which always increases in isolated systems. This is why heat flows from hot to cold and why perpetual motion machines are impossible. Thermodynamics turned out to be much more than just a way to make engines more efficient. It explained why stars shine, how refrigerators work, and why time seems to flow in one direction. The laws are universal, applying to everything from boiling kettles to black holes. And while Newton mechanics made the universe look like a precise, reversible machine, thermodynamics introduced a more sobering truth. The universe is running down, heading toward eventual heat death. In short, thermodynamics revealed that while motion might be eternal, useful energy is not, and that irreversible change is a fundamental part of reality. Electromagnetism. By the 19th century, scientists had discovered electricity, magnetism, and the strange fact that the two were linked. Michael Faraday's experiments revealed that changing magnetic fields create electric currents, and vice versa. James Clerk Maxwell took it further. He unified electricity, magnetism, and light into a single elegant theory. His famous equations showed that light itself is an electromagnetic wave, rippling through space at a constant speed. This was revolutionary. It meant that light didn't need a medium like ether to travel through. It could propagate through the vacuum of space. Maxwell's theory explained phenomena as varied as radio waves, the glow of a light bulb, and the magnetic field of Earth. It also hinted at a deeper mystery. The speed of light appeared to be the same for all observers, no matter how fast they were moving. This puzzling fact would soon lead to the downfall of Newton's absolute space and time and paved the way for one of the most famous theories in physics history, special relativity. In 1905, a 26-year-old patent clerk named Albert Einstein shook the foundations of physics. Special relativity was born from a simple but shocking idea. The laws of physics are the same for everyone, and the speed of light is constant for all observers, no matter how fast you're moving. The consequences were mind-bending. Time slows down when you move quickly. Lengths contract. Mass and energy are two sides of the same coin, expressed in the iconic equation 
E is equal mc square. Suddenly, Newton's absolute time and space were gone, replaced by a four-dimensional space-time where motion and time are relative to the observer. Special relativity perfectly described the behavior of particles moving close to the speed of light and explained why no object with mass can reach that cosmic speed limit. This wasn't just a mathematical curiosity. It underpinned technologies like GPS, which wouldn't work without relativistic corrections. Einstein's insight was a gateway to a new way of seeing the universe, one where even time itself could bend and stretch. General relativity. If special relativity was a revolution, general relativity was an empire. In 1915, Einstein extended his theory to include gravity, not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time itself. Massive objects like the sun warp the fabric of space-time, and other objects move along these curves. This simple idea replaced Newton's invisible gravitational pull with a beautiful geometric vision of the cosmos. General relativity predicted phenomena that Newton's theory couldn't. The bending of light by gravity, the precise orbit of Mercury, and even gravitational time dilation. It also laid the groundwork for modern cosmology, predicting that the universe could expand or contract. Black holes, gravitational waves, and the Big Bang all came from this framework. For decades, it was tested in extreme conditions, and it kept passing with flying colors. Even a century later, the first image of a black hole's shadow and the detection of gravitational waves stand as stunning confirmations. General relativity remains one of the most successful and beautiful theories in all of science. Quantum mechanics. While Einstein was reshaping space and time, another revolution was happening on the smallest scales. Atoms, electrons, and photons behaved in ways that defied classical logic. Enter quantum mechanics a theory where particles can act like waves, exist in multiple states at once, and only choose an outcome when measured. Pioneers like Max Planck, Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, and Erwin Schrödinger built a mathematical framework that could predict these strange behaviors with astonishing accuracy. Quantum mechanics explained why atoms are stable, how chemical bonds form, and why the sun shines through nuclear fusion. It also introduced unsettling concepts like uncertainty and entanglement, where particles remain mysteriously connected across vast distances. While it's the most successful predictive theory in history, it still challenges our intuition. The quantum world is not deterministic like Newton's clockwork. It's probabilistic, and reality itself seems to depend on observation. Without quantum mechanics, we'd have no transistors, no lasers, no computers, and no modern civilization. The Standard Model As quantum mechanics matured, physicists sought to understand the fundamental building blocks of matter and the forces that govern them. The result was the Standard Model, a grand unification of quantum mechanics with three of the four fundamental forces, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. It describes 17 known particles, from quarks and leptons, which make up matter, to force carriers like photons and gluons. The standard model successfully explains nearly every particle physics experiment ever done, predicting the existence of particles like the Higgs boson decades before they were found. It is, in many ways, the periodic table of the subatomic world, a map of the universe's smallest ingredients. But it's not perfect. It doesn't include gravity, it can't explain dark matter or dark energy, and it leaves open big questions like why the particles have the masses they do. Still, as a working recipe for the visible universe, it has no equal. Quantum field theory. If quantum mechanics describes particles and general relativity describes space-time, quantum field theory, QFT, takes things one step further. It says particles are just excitations, ripples, in invisible fields that permeate the entire universe. Instead of thinking of an electron as a tiny billiard ball, QFT treats it as a disturbance in the electron field. Photons are disturbances in the electromagnetic field and so on. This framework allows physicists to combine special relativity with quantum mechanics, creating precise predictions for particle interactions. Quantum electrodynamics, QED, a branch of QFT, is so accurate that its predictions have been confirmed to one part in a trillion, the most precise theory in all of science. QFT also underpins the standard model, 
providing the mathematical language that unites the electromagnetic, weak and strong forces. It's a world where particles constantly pop in and out of existence, and empty space itself is never truly empty. Theories of everything. Despite its successes, physics is still incomplete. General relativity and quantum mechanics, the two pillars of modern physics, are fundamentally incompatible at extreme scales, like inside black holes or at the Big Bang. A theory of everything would unify them into a single framework. Candidates include string theory, which envisions all particles as tiny vibrating strings, and loop quantum gravity, which treats space-time itself as quantized. Such theories aim to explain all four forces of nature in one elegant set of equations, revealing why the constants of the universe have the values they do, and perhaps even what happened before the Big Bang, while we're not there yet. Each attempt pushes the boundaries of knowledge. A true theory of everything wouldn't just be the final chapter in physics. It would be the key to understanding why the universe exists at all. Until then, the search continues, and so does our journey to describe reality itself.